If you're looking for a cardioid USB-C microphone that also looks like it was designed by Apple, then check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I picked this up. As you can see there, it's by Babbel. <laughs> it's pretty good marketing if they're trying to direct it at me because I like to babble. Now, this little microphone here is kind of cool looking. Here's the box. Definitely kind of looks like an Apple product on the outside. But what I was most interested in is getting a good microphone that would be better than the microphone that's built into my MacBook here, but be very compatible with it, but also look kind of nice. Ooh, all right, and then inside we get a cable here now I got this one in blue and I'm gonna call it kind of a gray blue and what you might be able to see there is that both ends of this cord are USB-C and that's kind of important because That's the only part you get on MacBooks these days And so instead of having to carry an adapter or anything like that You just have this one cable. I'll call this about four and a half feet long. So pretty long now inside here ah, There is the microphone and you can see what I'm talking about doesn't have a noise isolating mount or anything like that, but it looks very modern, very cool. And this blue kind of even looks like some of the Apple Blues, although I don't think it's an exact match. You can see we have a ring down on the bottom. There seems to be a decent amount of weight there. You can see we have this waffle pattern rubber base there, so it shouldn't slide around. We also have a cutout right here, which I like, so that the cable, which will plug into the bottom of the microphone, can snake underneath the mouse. So you don't have that having to go over the top of the base. That'll hold it in place too. The single arm kind of going up there. Everything is very nice, modern Bauhaus look. And you can see we have it on a little bit of a hinge and I think you might be able to tighten those up so that once you get it in the position you want, like this, it's going to hold it in there. I'm definitely increasing the friction. Although can't see it really moving around that much. I'm going to just loosen it up just a smidge. So what you want on these types of microphones is it facing you just like this. So if you want to speak into the front of the speaker right there, I think the pickup will be right there. You can see that we have basically a cloth covering over the top. It looks really great. I'm really impressed by the looks. And then right here, what we have is a mute button, but also gain knob right there. So that should light up when we get it plugged in. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in on the bottom here. And as I'm putting it in the bottom, what you might have been able to see too is we do have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack right there so if you want to do some monitoring i think you can do that as well and what you can see here is i'm going to move this knob right up to the top there you can see there's a little led light behind there and if i press it in it's red so i think the microphone should not be picking up anything but when you turn it off it's just turned off so that means the microphone is live so now what i want to do is use the laptop with its built-in microphone and then use it with the babble microphone and see if there's any difference all right this is the 2021 2020 macbook air so it's the m1 processor here and i'm looking straight into the camera right there and i'm using the built-in microphones on this macbook air now one thing i want to say here is that this microphone should be pretty decent i mean it gets decent reviews especially for not having any plugged in peripherals so if you want to do some zoom calls some team meetings some webinars things like that using the built-in tools here on the macbook are probably pretty good and as good as any of the laptops out there i think but what i want to do now is go ahead and plug in the babble microphone and see if you can tell any difference Plugged in the Babel microphone here, just sneak the cord right back there. I've got the gain set right to the middle here on the microphone. So I've got it in front of me, probably about a foot away. You can still see it in the camera right there, just kind of off to the side of the keyboard here. So if I really wanted to have a clean shot, I would kind of move it away like this. But now I could do my webinar, my Zoom meeting, my team meeting, conference call, things like that, and use the standard camera, but also be using this Babel microphone. And hopefully the audio is a little bit better than that built in laptop microphone and because it's so small as you can see here it's nice and thin it would be easy to travel with I love the way it looks it's not that expensive in fact I think it had a $20 coupon on it when I bought it so it brought it from like 60 down to 40 bucks so that puts it right in line with a lot of discount affordable budget microphones and I just love the way it looks now you can be the judge on the audio here if I turn that gain up it's probably gonna pick up my voice just a little bit more I'm just gonna move it right back to the middle here but I'm gonna count to 10 here and I'm going to hit that mute button on number four and hopefully you should hear that audio just cut away so one two three seven eight nine ten so hopefully you heard me cut out there the mute button worked great so if you got a cough <laughs> or sneeze or say something to a friend or someone off camera or yell at your dog or whatever you need to do you can quickly hit that mute button so that you don't broadcast that to everyone on the call but if you're looking for an affordable microphone that has usb-c connections 
the most modern connection of connections and looks this sleek and smart i think you're gonna like this babble so i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper